Hello learners. So last session we have discussed the scalar product. Today we will be discussing about the vector product. Okay. This vector product is also called as. Hello learners. Last session we have discussed about the scalar product. Today we will discuss the concept of vector product. Vector product is also called as cross product. So, we will discuss the concept of vector product. Again, suppose we have two vectors, vector A and vector B. Okay. So, this can be written as for vector product A bar cross B bar or it is equal to a bar cross B bar. This sign is always now we have to call this sign as cross. Okay, it is not simple multiplication. So, A bar cross B bar is equal to A B sin theta into unit vector perpendicular to the plane in which these two vectors are present. Okay. So, this direction here a bar cross b bar is equal to a b sin theta unit vector uh, a n bar, a n bar is the unit vector perpendicular to the plane containing vector a and vector b. Okay. So, how to identify this direction? For this we can use simple right hand rule. Okay. So, here this is the right hand. Okay. This is my vector A, this is my vector B okay? and A bar cross B bar is equal to the direction of thumb. The direction of the cross product of A bar and B bar is equal to direction of thumb. So, this is A n bar. Okay? If I change the sequence, okay? so this is if this is A and this is vector B, so the direction will be opposite. Now, A n bar will be in the negative direction. Okay? So, this cross product does not apply or does not follow the commutative law. So, A bar cross B bar is equal to minus B bar cross A bar. Okay. Now, we will see some different cases. First case when A bar and B bar are parallel. When vector A and vector B are parallel, the angle between these two vectors is 0 and therefore, sin of 0 is we know it is equal to 0 and therefore, the result of cross product A bar cross B bar is equal to 0. Okay. Now, cross product of unit vectors. So, always we have to remember this triangle AX, AY and AZ. So, AX bar cross producted with AY bar is the result of this cross product is from this triangle. If you observe the direction of these arrows, it is coming from Ax towards Ay. So, Ax bar cross Ay bar is equal to remaining unit vector or the third unit vector. So, Ax cross Ay is Az, Az bar. If it is Ay cross Ax bar, now the direction is opposite. So, minus Az bar. Now, Ay bar cross Az bar, Ay bar cross Az bar will be equal to Ax bar. A z bar cross A x bar will be equal to A y bar. Okay? And therefore, suppose we have two vectors. Vector A is A x A x bar plus A y A y bar plus A z A z bar. 
and vector b is given as bx ax bar plus by ay bar plus bz az bar. So, a bar cross b bar the result of this by expanding this by putting the value of vector a and vector b and expanding this and solving the cross product of unit vectors at the end we will get the terms like a y b z minus a z b y into a x bar plus a z b x minus a x b z a y bar plus a x b y minus a y b x into a z bar. Okay. We can write this as a bar cross b bar is equal to we can write it into the determinant a x a y a z a x a y a z b x b y b z. So, what are the applications of cross product? Cross product, one of the application of cross product is to find area of parallelogram. If two vectors are If two vectors are given, vector A, B and vector C, D, we can find out area of, the area of parallelogram is nothing but magnitude of cross product of vector A, B and vector C, D. Again, we can find out area of triangle A, B, C. If two vectors are given, vector A, B and vector, uh, vector A, C, so, half of vector, uh, half of magnitude of cross product of vector AB and vector AC is our area of triangle. Okay. Now, we will solve one example based on the cross product. We have two vectors, vector A is equal to 3ax bar plus 4 a y bar plus a z bar and vector b is equal to 2 a y bar minus 5 a z bar. Okay. Find, find a bar cross b bar. Find a bar cross b bar and angle between a bar and b bar. angle between a bar and b bar using dot product and cross product. Okay. So, first of all, we will try to solve the cross product. So, a bar cross b bar is equal to, we will use that determinant concept a x a y a z uh, for x component of vector a is 3, y component of vector a is 4 and z component is 1, 2, oh sorry, x component is 0, y component is 2 and z component is minus 5. Solve this, when we solve this determinant, we will get as minus 20 minus 2 a x bar minus minus 15 minus 0 a y bar plus 6 minus 0 a z bar. So, the result of this cross product we are getting it is minus 22 a x bar plus 15 
ए वाई बार प्लस सिक्स ए जेड बार ओके नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट एंगल बिटवीन दिस टू वेक्टर्स यूजिंग डॉट प्रोडक्ट एज वेल एज यूजिंग क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट सो ए बार डॉट बी बार इज इक्वल टू ए बी कॉस थीटा If we know this dot product as well as the magnitude of these two, we can find out angle theta. So first of all, we'll try to find out a bar dot b bar. So a bar dot b bar is equal to three into zero plus four into two plus one into minus five, which is equal to three. Magnitude of vector a is equal to under root of three square plus four square plus one square, which is equal to under root of twenty six. Magnitude of vector b is equal to zero square plus two square plus five square, which is equal to under root of twenty nine. So theta is equal to cos inverse of a bar dot b bar divided by A B, so cos inverse of three divided by under root of twenty six into root of twenty nine, which is equal to eighty three point seventy three degree. And in the same way, pi we will find the result of cross product, which is again eighty three point seventy three. so to find out now angle between vector a and b using cross product concept so we have obtained a bar cross b bar which is equal to how much minus 22 ax bar plus 15 ay bar plus 6 az bar okay we will obtain its magnitude so magnitude of this cross product is equal to under root of 22 square plus 15 square plus 6 square which is equal to root of 745 okay so from the definition of cross product magnitude of cross product is equal to a into b into sin theta so theta is equal to sin inverse of magnitude of cross product divided by magnitude of vector a into vector b so which is equal to sin inverse of root 745 divided by magnitude of a is root 26 magnitude of b is root 29 Which is equal to eighty three point seventy three degree. Okay. Our next concept is about the scalar triple product. we have three vectors vector a vector b and vector c in this scalar triple product this triple product is arranged in this way a bar dot b bar cross c bar so here we we have to always find out calculate cross product so b bar cross c bar first of all we have to find or calculate this part first and then the result of this we have to take the dot product of A with a bar okay if you solve this first a bar dot b bar then you will get a scalar value and we cannot take the cross product of scalar with the vector so always you have to find or solve this part and then go with the dot product okay next one is the triple cross product again we have three vectors vector a vector b and vector c okay we are going to take its cross product uh, 
so a bar cross b bar cross c bar it can be solved by a bar dot c bar multiplied by b bar minus a bar dot b bar multiplied by vector c bar okay so this is all about uh, vector uh, multiplication we have discussed So this is all about we have discussed about the vector multiplication during next session we will discuss about the del operator and coordinate system thank you